I haven't shaved my armpits, so I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm having trouble in paradise here. And um, they're only four pounds. Look at the back of this as well, it's so nice. I've just come back from town. Is my hair looking like a mess? <gasps> What's on my head? Oh my days. What is that on my head? Oh my days. What is that on my head? Are you joking? Oh my god. Oh my days. I don't know what that was. I think it was an aphid or something. That gave me like the shock of my life. And I was just fly in my room for goodness sake. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, so I, I hit town today. I had to do a few bits and bobs, I had to run a few errands, you know the drill. It's not often that I go to town anymore. Uh, I go about like twice a month, not even. Like if I need to go to post office, then I have to save it to the weekend or go during my lunch break. It's like hard to really fit everything in, guys. Um, I don't know how people with kids do like full-time jobs, life, children, that's mad. Um, anywho, so... After my disastrous Zara haul, I actually popped into Zara today because you guys might already know, well you don't, it's not free returns anymore when you buy online. It's £1.95 now. So I was like, why don't I just go into Zara and return my stuff? And if I see something that I like, I'll pick it up, I'll try it on properly, and then we can see. Um, so that's what I did, and it was all right, but I think, I overestimated my size. I was still in the changing rooms of Primark and I was like, I picked up like everything in size 14, but it didn't fit me, it was too big. But at the same time, if I had picked up size 10 or 12, and if it didn't fit me, that would have made me upset. But um, I know I said in the Zara video that it's like, um, I'm putting on weight for a reason and it doesn't get me down like, as it would if I put on weight like just like mindlessly eating but um I don't know because when you're in the changing room it, it hits you kind of differently because you can see all your cellulite you can see all your lumps and bumps in different angles and it's it's stupid lighting all the fitting rooms have stupid lighting I've never come across such any flattering um changing rooms whatsoever <laughs> Overestimating my size. I like the dress. Then. Oh, so I'm trying to yeah. try and clothes that big for me, but because I I don't want to try and clothes that aren't gonna fit me. But anyway, so that was my day. Sorry about the long intro. Um, should we start off with Primark? We'll start off with Primark and then I'll do the Zara. So if you guys don't know, I'm currently at a size 10 to 12. I'm pushing a 14 when it comes to certain products. Certain clothing items, I'm pushing a 14. But it really does depend. But also, like, my weight has kind of distributed differently now. Um, this bra is kind of a little bit big for me. But that's why it's, like, coming across like I've got a big chest. But, um... Yeah, so now that I've got gains and everything, it's just um, a little bit different. I've got a little bit of a bum now. My thighs are like, <laughs> my quads, mate. My quads are insane. Anyway, let's start off with Primark. Now, in Primark, everything was beautiful, bright colours, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, when I buy something from Primark, I actually don't end up wearing it. The hauls that I did previously, I don't really wear Primark. Um, it's actually quite bad actually, because I think about it and I'm like, I've given most of the Primark clothes to charity. Um, but I saw this and I was, wasn't really on the hunt for anything like this, to be fair. Um, but I saw it and I was like, that's great for work. Um, I'm gonna be careful the way I style it though, because I don't wanna look like I'm middle-aged or like a mum or something because it's a midi skirt and it's in kind of like a sateen material. I actually got it in a size 10, it fit me in a size 10, which is different. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I'll try it on and I think what's best to pair it with is, please like and subscribe if you wanna see more honest hauls from me because 
we all struggle and the struggle is real a azara halter neck bodysuit so if i pair those together and i think with a pair of black converse like my com de garçons or a pair of vajas i think that would look really suitable for work um so if i try those on for you now um this skirt was oh poo 15 pound i thought it was 10 i actually thought it was 10 pound oh poop um okay let's see if it's nicely styled and then <laughs> primark prices mate primark prices have increased um okay so i'm just gonna slip it on so it's almost got like a tropical print to it with the leaves and then kind of like i think butterflies i think not too sure but um it's a patterned midi skirt nonetheless um so oh. this is the midi skirt on um it literally goes past my knees and down near to my shins and that's where it ends um i feel like it's just it's quite modest which is what i was thinking so i've just angled the camera down so you can see what it looks like but um yeah i just wanted something to like be covered and modest at the same time because um i just think that's a bit more work appropriate than something like crazy shorts obviously um but i guess nowadays like you should wear whatever you want to wear I guess I'm quite traditional in the way that I dress for work and stuff. Um, I know there are boundaries and stuff and like sometimes I do end up wearing a hoodie and um, leggings. That's because if it's like raining or something I don't want to get my nice work clothes dirty. I think the way that I've paired it with this halter neck um, bodysuit has really gone well. I think it would also go with my Club Monaco, though I haven't worn the Club Monaco halter neck top yet because it hasn't like, been the right temperature. Um, but now it is, I'm going to start wearing that as well. So that would be really nice with this. It's kind of like the same concept to be fair. I don't know what my hair is doing, but as I mentioned, so I don't really end up wearing my Primark clothes. Um, so I went upstairs to the shoes, accessory section. Didn't really see any accessories that I liked. Didn't see any pajamas that I liked either. And the makeup section was kind of empty, so I was like, oh, okay. So I went into the shoes department. These are a pair of sandals. I think I'll get loads of wear out of them, hopefully. Um, they're just like really, like really lightweight and easy to slip on. I got them in a size eight because I've got big feet. And um, they were only four pounds. That That is just a really great bargain. And um, I do want to wear a few like pink outfits and I think that this would go perfectly. I also got like, an outrageous pair of pink sunglasses as well that's a vibe pink bikini pink this ah oh, lovely love that for me so yeah i think they're just they're a vibe then they're like padded as well and they're so lightweight guys then i got these mules now this is quite exciting actually i got them in a size eight again and they're only a tenner they're in this neutral kind of like straw like material they're really nice looking aren't they like i thought that they would be really classic and would just elevate a look like imagine like this with um this outfit with the pair of this with this pair as well these are really nice and i just think that um with my neutral outfits on holiday especially with the zara dress i think that would look so nice and we're going to greece as well going to portugal going to greece straight after <sighs> <laughs> so i really have to plan everything out i really do um but i thought these would just be a really good addition to my wardrobe um and these were like the last ones in like bigger sizes and i was like hey well, that's coming home with me um they're not too high either which is great because i don't really work i don't really walk well in high heels and they're really comfy they're really lightweight too you can see a pattern here i quite like white lightweight shoes um Okay, next up we have Zara. So Zara, I don't know what you're playing at, but I swear your sizes are getting even smaller. Zara sizes are getting even smaller. So I picked up these um, high rise Bermuda shorts. They bring these out every single year and they put up the prices. 
of course. Um, so last year they were 19.99. This year they're 22.99. I swear I have them in quite a few sizes. So I have them in a size eight and I have them in a size 10. So you can see that I've been going at my sizes. Um, so I got them in a size 12 and also a 14. I only tried on the size 14 in the changing rooms because I couldn't see the 12. And then when I came back, because I actually reserved my items, I put them on hold and I came back and I saw they also had a size 12 in these. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just have to buy them now then. And then if they don't work out, then I'll just return them because the 14 were like really comfy, but comfy because they're quite baggy. Um, so yeah, I'll try them on for you. I think I'm having trouble with paradise here. This is looking like a mission. I mean, the size difference is actually insane. Um, I mean, no, because look, my, my, my stomach is actually creeping out of this. This is not okay. And it's making my bum look really, really flat as well. Um, okay, so we're not gonna go with the, the size 12. I'm gonna have to go and return them. Hopefully you can see what they look like. These are the size 12, they're on. I think this year it's all about comfort, feeling comfortable. I'll try it on the size 14 for you guys next. I mean, if you told me last year that I'd be reaching a size 14, I think I'd be crying on the floor. Not that there's anything wrong being a bigger size, blah, blah, blah. It's just that when all your life you've been big and then, then you lose loads of weight and then suddenly you put on weight again, it just hits you like a ton of bricks and be quite disheartening anyway so i'm gonna try on size 14 this will be the issue for me i hate it when it's baggy around the crotch um so then it always like will look like you've got something there or you don't um yeah but then it will just give me room to eat a bit more um yeah I'm just gonna stick with these, roll with these. And even if I lose weight and anything, it will just be like quite comfy, won't it? Um, <laughs> uh, trying to justify my choices here. Um, yes, yeah, so this is what the size 14 looks like on. <laughs> um, I haven't shaved my armpits, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, right, so next up we have this top. Now this top, I tried on with a pair of white shorts, but the white shorts had some loose thread coming off and I was like, I'm not paying uh, a ridiculous amount of money if the thread's gonna come off. But this top essentially is like the, uh, that dress that we tried on, what we tried to try on, but it was just not gonna fit. Um, they had no extra larges in stock. So I, I guess it's quite popular that people are sizing up in that dress. Um, yeah so i got this i got the medium because it just fits so much better than the large did because i didn't fill the cups of the large um and it's just really like elegant and i think with a pair of white shorts or even um a pair of white trousers now these trousers i didn't even end up wearing last year i had nowhere to go with these so um i didn't end up wearing them so i'm going to try and wear them this year i think they'd be lovely in portugal or greece um for a nice dinner or something. I'm gonna pair these two together and then, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Oh, I just can't wait to go on holiday. Oh yeah, I didn't even say how much this was. This is, this was 22.99, which I guess last year it would have been 19.99. Here's the coat of the trousers anyway. Um, see if you can find something similar, but they're just a pair of white linen, wide leg trousers. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if they do them this year, but this top is just, oh, imagine this with like a really sick tan. I have thick tan, it's just very natural thick tan that I've got on right now. I'm hoping these trousers fit, goodness me. Oh my, oh my God, I'm so happy about that because of it. Stop it. Now this outfit, 
would be so lovely. Imagine. Oh, imagine this in Italy. Oh. Look at that. Look at the back of this as well. It's so nice. Um. I haven't tied this very well. It's kind of just like a half top, so like they've just taken this half and then they forgot about the rest and you just have to tie up the back. Um, but yeah, so it gives me the element of the dress but without the bottom half. I'm gonna try and find a nice pair of white shorts or a white um, linen skirt even and then, and then make it into a co ward type thing because I mean, this looks insane right now. Oh, and I also popped into Tiger. I got some luggage tags. Um, but yeah, that is everything. All right, guys. I'm going to sit out in the sun for a little bit with some sangria. Have a lovely day. I'll see you guys in the next video.